Hello and welcome back Super Moms. In today's video, we are gonna be taking a look at why you need to make sure you're asking the right question before you seek the solution. Einstein once said if he had 60 minutes to solve a problem that his life depended on, he would spend 55 minutes deciding the exact question to ask before spending five minutes finding a solution. This whole concept blew my mind and I implemented it straight away. One of the biggest areas this has impacted my life is keeping things tidy and the fact that my house runs a whole lot smoother now because I'm asking the right questions when any kind of problem arises. The thing is, asking the wrong question can lead to the completely wrong solution and you end up not solving the problem. So you end up either feeling that the, the problem is completely not solvable or you get downbeat on yourself that you can come up with the right answer, but even what the, the issue is with the question, it's not with the solution at all. So one of my favorite examples of this is my story about the recycling bin, which sounds a bit like mundane and ridiculous, but we were recycling as much as we could or that I wanted to. And we were like piling things up next to the bin, which we'd got out of the habit of doing. Why had this crap back in? And I had to work myself back and make sure I was asking the right question. And the thing was we had a recycling bin in the kitchen, but it was like this opened bag thing and we had it next to the bin. And as the kid started getting more mobile, she was getting in there and pulling stuff out and it was like sharp can edges and things. So that got moved very, very quickly into a cupboard. She then was able to open the cupboard. So the cupboard ended up with a child safety latch on. So suddenly you've got the bin at one side of the kitchen and then in a child safety latched cupboard was the recycling bin. So you'd get your piece of rubbish and you'd go over to the bin and realize it needed to go in the recycling, which although it was like four or five steps away, you like know it's gonna be a latch cupboard and you're rushing around trying to cook and things, you would just like hit the bin lid and put it in there or drop it next to the bin, which then a kid got into anyway, which doesn't work. So I realized that it couldn't be in a child locked cupboard, but it also couldn't be an open top bag next to the bin. So what I did is I went and got another bin, which is the same like touch top thing. And we literally have right hand side is recycling and left hand side is normal rubbish. The question wasn't why aren't we recycling enough? The question was how can I make the recycling bin really easy access? Like that's the problem I needed to solve. And that problem was really easy to solve. I think I even ordered the bin on Amazon for like next free next day delivery. Like it was so simple, so simple. But these are things that really impact the smoothness of how we run our homes, which really impacts how tidy our homes can stay. If you're not asking the right question, you're never gonna get to the right answer. It's like pointing at a girl over here and saying, what is that man's name? Like when you mean someone this side, literally it's that stupid. That stupid, yet we do it all the time. And don't worry, I was doing it all the time and I still occasionally do it and go, whoa, hold up, hold up here. Not asking the right question. What is the right question? That's where we find the right answer. I hope you found this helpful and you're gonna start implementing it. If you have made any changes in your life due to this video, please pop them in the comments down below. I would love to hear if this is making a difference for you. I really look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood. And remember that being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again.